everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Burton, I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Gain using Nanotechnology Gain. This is right here is our Illuminous Black 4K. This is our blackout cloth. Now, we are not doing any more screen paint. We're doing some screen paint. I just have to reframe that for our contract distributors, but as for customers, we're not doing any more screen paint due to the fact that we think the new technology is much more advanced. I've done demonstrations, testing, uh, actually showing the demonstration against cheap end screen paints. I've done the demonstrations against our screen paints, and I've done the demonstration against high end screen paints, and this technology is far surpassed all of it. If you're curious to see those demonstrations, I'll post them at the bottom. Now, keep in mind, let's talk about the day true ambient light rejection screens. I love it how they basically use ambient light controlled environments for an ambient light projection screen. Now usually, this is some of the demonstrations I'll see on YouTube, such like this. Now what they'll have is they'll have one little lamp here in the corner. That's it. And then they'll have an overhead lamp. My, oh, my lamp right here alone, my lamp right here alone produces and generates more light than some people have in their living room and dining room. This is how much, this, this lamp right here produces a lot of lamp. And I'll have a little lamp up here in the ceiling. There's no light coming off of that. And I'll tell you why, because when you turn it on, you don't see the brightness cascading on the walls or any place else. You don't see any areas that are, see how these areas are dark and shadow? You don't see all that lighting up. So let me ask you a question. You come home, does this look like the entire environment you want to sit in for your screen? This is your dining room or living room. Is this is how you want your environment to look. Now, usually they won't have a light on here, but sometimes if they do, turn my lights on. In my kitchen, gotta take my trash out. In my kitchen, they'll usually have a light here and say, hey look, see, I have light here and have light here. Well, the light here and light here has nothing to do with the physical light on the screen here. All right, light's not gonna travel through and curve and hit that, all right? Now, as you can see, screen looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the next thing in some of these demonstrations, and I see them in high-end demonstrations also, they'll have their condensed lighting on. Now, this is what they call ambient light controlled environment because you are controlling the lights in your environment. That's ambient light control. That's something you have to worry about when it comes to our technology. Look at this right here. This is usually the highest you'll see the lights right here. I'm gonna show you the dimmer switch. That's the highest you'll see the lights. Just to give off an effect that there's light in the environment and the screen is producing an image. Maybe it might raise a little bit higher. Let's bring it up a little bit higher. All right, so this is what they'll do. This is ambient light controlled environment. Sometimes the condensed lighting will be pushed away from the screen to give off the effect that the screen is actually being hit with condensed light. All right, as the ones I have in here that are actually hitting the screen. See the difference between the two? See where the light comes down and the light hits here. You can see the back of it. It's in contact with the screen right here. But they'll give off the, they'll have it where it's dim. You don't, you will, you'll see light coming down, but it won't give it the, it won't, it won't have contact with the screen. My lights in there actually have contact with my screen. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this all the way up because my dining room is not that dim. Now, as I said before, my ceiling lamp produces more light than some people have and their kitchen or dining room and their living room. When <laughs> I say kitchen, kitchen lights are pretty bright, but the dining and living room. Let me show you how bright this light is. We'll put it down on the dimmer. We're gonna bring it all the way down, the dimmer all the way down. Bring it up. That's how bright this light is. I gotta replace that one on the far end. So this is how bright this light is. And it's mine, this is not, the dimmer switch is down. Now we're gonna bring the dimmer switch. There it is right there, it's my dimmer switch. We're gonna bring it up. That's how bright my dining room lights are. And as you can see, it's glass. I'm using clear glass, so with clear glass, the light is actually has the ability to transfer through and have contact with the screen. Now, let's take out the lights in the environment and just leave on the ceiling light. Just to show you how bright the ceiling light is. This is literally how bright the ceiling light is. This is how much light it generates. Like I said, brighter than most people's lights that they have in their living room and dining room. All right, so I can have all my lights on. Now, only not only can I have all my lights on, but guess what? I don't have the fear of if I have a window next to my screen, it's just going to bother my my um my picture. So I'm going to open up my window right next to my screen and show you what we got. So we have the window open, and the reason why I do a lot of fish. Because blues wash out faster 
an ambient light. Now let's do a demonstration with some sound. Yeah, I got some sound here. Here we go. And this is that screen to focus a little better. Sorry about that. A little focus issue on the camera. There we go. It's fighting me a bit. Like I said, all the lights are on. Windows open. This is what you call a true AR screen. Sorry, not AR, I'm saying it wrong, wrong. A true ambient light rejection screen. Apologize if I kept saying AR, I do apologize. This is an ambient light rejection screen. Look at this. So I can be anywhere in this environment and this screen's gonna look fantastic. I don't have to be subjected to the dark. That's why I keep telling people, you're watching demonstrations and those videos are done in the dark and that's the high point of that screen to technology that's where you're going to be at in the dark let's grab us up another demonstration now before my time runs out here i'm kenneth bird from crystal h technology screens using smart tech oh i can't say smart technology game nano technology game keep forgetting we changed everything over hope you enjoyed the video demonstration let me see if i can go back here a bit i'm gonna pull up my staircase Sorry about my squeaky floor. This is me watching the screen from my staircase in my living room. Let's just show you that the screens can pick up anywhere in the environment, especially next to a window. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I can go right in my dining room. I'm can be coming down the stairs and my screen would still pick up right next to a window. Let's grab one more. With the white levels. Look at the white levels on this screen. Fantastic. And like I said, this is the blackout call. There you go. Now, before my tie runs out of here, I want to show you something really quick. This is the new wallpaper screens. This is our new panel. This is our 54 inch 16 9. These are the new ones already done. Already set up. I'll be doing a demonstration very soon. These will be shipping out to Dubai. They ordered quite a lot of them. We have these on our website. Can't tell you the price of wholesale, but we have these on our, our website for a hundred and um, thirty-two dollars. Sorry, hundred and eighty-two dollars. My fault. One hundred and thirty-two dollars. And these are the new panels. Look how paper thin that is. That's it. You could hang that with scotch tape, literally. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Kenneth Bird from Crystal H Technology Screens. Thank you all for your time.